Hey guys, Ryan Dossie, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of how we got a B-class Vinyl Village deal in a hedge fund neighborhood and wholesaled it for over a $16,000 profit. Now, this is not about how cool I am or the fact that we did another deal. I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step steps to take to go do this in your own market. So the list we pulled, the mail piece we sent, pictures of the deal and even the lead in my CRM. Let's check it out. This particular property was in a A minus B class kind of place, really good school district, a um, lot of owner occupant type properties, right at kind of the median price point in our market in Indianapolis. Homes range from you know value of 150 to something like 300K in this area. What we knew we were after was nicer, newer, vinyl villagey type properties. If you're not familiar with that term, it's basically like the cookie cutter homes um, where everything looks the same in the neighborhood. Kind of a builder came in and you had four or four plans to pick from. So this particular deal, we looked for properties that were built 1990 or newer, that were absentee owned with equity, did 35 to 100% more. I'll go ahead and drop the link above to a tutorial on how to pull that list from list source. That way you can replicate pulling the same list I pulled. Step one to doing this same deal in your market is gonna be identifying the farm area and pulling your list. Now the list was absentee owners with equity, 35 to 100% more. I'm gonna drop a tutorial on how to pull that list through list source. So you can just copy and paste what I did. One tweak we added to this list, we knew we were looking for newer, nicer properties. So we did put in a year built of 1990 or newer. Our initial plan with this was to find a property and flip it to a hedge fund for a pretty large wholesale fee. We actually ended up just selling it to a conventional buy and hold guy. So it didn't even go to a hedge fund, but we made about 16 grand. On this particular campaign, we knew we were after kind of this newer, nicer neighborhood. So that's how we picked our zip code. Uh, it was an area, you know, B plus area, great schools, a lot of owner occupied type stuff. Um, average price point in Indianapolis is something like 180,000. Properties in this area range from like 160 to 250. So this is kind of your, not necessarily first time home buyer, but maybe first or second time home buyer kind of neighborhoods, lots of families and stuff around. Great place to find a deal. I'm gonna now show you the mailing list where we sent it over to Ballpoint, the proof we got back, the piece we sent, pictures of the house, as well as the lead in our CRM. Let's check it out. All right, so here is the initial list that I had sent over to Ballpoint. You can see this wasn't really a small campaign. Uh, I wanna say total size on this thing was like 3,500, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's like right at uh, 3,323 records. Um, so absentee owners in and out of state with equity. The uh, actual physical piece we sent them was literally this. Um, now we don't use property owner, that's just a filler for their proof. So we do pull in first and last name of owner one and two. Now, what are your plans? I've prepared a cash offer I'd like to discuss with you. Please call my office. We use office, that way it translates nicely into the answering service taking the call. They're not expecting to get Noah on the phone and then website at the bottom so they can find us. Now, from there, um, this is the mail piece that we sent. Uh, we used this kind of colorful one over here on the right. So that was kind of the initial campaign. And here is where the lead came into our CRM. Now you'll notice they got the letter, but they didn't actually call us initially. They went into our Carrot site, which I'll drop a, uh, my affiliate link for Carrot below as well. Um, so I, I highly recommend Marketing Branded. That's how we do on all of our stuff. So they went to our carrot site, filled out the form, a lot of back and forth with our staff to get this deal done, but uh, ended up getting it closed out. So this is the property. I'll just kind of breeze 
through this. So Vinyl Villagey, uh, this one I think was built back in 2001. Newer vinyl windows, not the cutest bathroom, but I mean, very solid kind of livable property. Um, you know, newer uh, water heater um, furnace stuff. So that's solid. Um, you'll notice I did click past a picture of the folks who uh, I think were the tenants of this property. Anytime you're sending out um, pictures to anybody on your list or doing anything like this, make sure you blur faces or just remove those pictures altogether. Um, you're not having people sign like a release or anything. You don't want them to come back and bite you. So really just pretty basic kind of house. Uh, the folks who owned it were landlords that simply just kind of wanted out. No big story or drama. Um, lots of back and forth to get the deal done. But that is the list we pulled, what we sent them, who did our mailing, um, the lead in our CRM, and then uh, pictures of the deal. So on this particular deal, we got the property under contract for right at uh, 112,654 bucks. Uh, we were able to go under contract to sell it to somebody else for 129,000. Um, let's figure out the exact profit here. So 109,113, what we, we got 129,008. Was uh, right at 19,895 bucks. So not a bad deal. Um, that is the ins and outs of how we did a $20,000 deal and how you can find it in your market. So just a quick recap on how you can do this deal. Find an A minus B class area that you like, pull an absentee owner list, 35 to 100% equity. Uh, we put that year filter on there to make sure we just got the newer, nicer stuff. Step three, like the video and subscribe if you found this helpful. Order the uh, direct mail from Ballpoint, drop it, sit back and work your leads as they come in. It's the ins and outs of how we made, well, more than I thought on this deal. Thanks for stopping by.